The most aggressive form of treatment for atrial fibrillation is catheter ablation, and that involves threading a small tool through the vein into the heart and treating the little veins that drain the lungs to the left upper chamber of the heart. But between the heart and the veins is the esophagus, and it is coated with a vast network of nerves called the vagus nerves that help the contractility of the esophagus and stomach. If we injure these nerves during ablation, it can cause bloating, diarrhea, nausea, early satiety, and constipation. We wanted to understand how often these symptoms occur and how long it takes for them to resolve. We found that in about 10% of people, these symptoms can develop after an ablation. They tend to peak at one month, and then after three months, they tend to resolve. 10% of people can experience persistent symptoms. And unique risk factors to have persistent symptoms is this, if you have the symptoms before the ablation. The same symptoms, they can be worsened later on. So looking for these is a critical decision tool in deciding if you could go, if you want to undergo an ablation is critical.